Hello friends! In this video, we have a trip to the north of Afghanistan, where the raging rivers of the country go to other countries without being used, and people live hungry and without electricity next to these raging rivers. While the waters of Afghanistan are sufficient for the supply of electricity and agriculture in Afghanistan, our people import electricity from neighboring countries. Here I am going to talk about the Great Kakcha River and the dams that are going to be built in this river. There are three positions for the construction of power lines in Takar. The construction work of one of them will begin in the near future. Only with the construction of Tengi and Varsaj Power Dam, in addition to supplying water to 365,000 acres of land, 80 megawatts of electricity will be produced, which will meet the needs of the residents of Badakhshan, Kunduz, and Takar provinces. There are three power lines in Takar, including Lower Kokche, Upper Kokche, and Tangi Versage, and the work on one of them will begin in the near future. The construction of Tangi Varsage Dam, with a capacity of 80 MW of electricity, Lower Kokche Dam, with a capacity of 40 MW of electricity, and Upper Kokche Dam, with a capacity of 450 MW of electricity, are included in the development plans of the Ministry of Energy and Water. Mulvi Mansur, while visiting the Tangi Varsaj Power Dam, whose work was planned during the rule of Mohammad Dawood Khan, the first president of the country, and was not completed due to the coup of the People's Party and Flag Party, said, We have a plan to complete the work of this power dam, which is 75 meters high. Meters, start. With the construction of each of these three dams, in addition to irrigating thousands of acres of agricultural land, the needs of the people in Badakhshan, Kunduz, and Takar provinces will also be increased in terms of electricity. In a situation where most of the country's provinces are without electricity, and the neighboring countries have reduced the export of electricity, the local officials of Takar say that the Kokche Sea of this province has a high capacity in electricity production, and if it is used, not only Takar, but also all the northern provinces benefit from electricity. If the dam is built on the Kokche Sea, it will generate electricity for all the northern provinces and also irrigate thousands of hectares of land. The Kokche and Panj seas from Badakhshan to Ikonam Takar have the capacity to build dozens of electricity dams, which if paid attention to, the electricity problems will be solved to a large extent. Kokche Sea has 900 cubic meters of water per hour, but even 100 cubic meters of it is not used and its capacity is completely wasted. Kokche Takar Sea alone can produce 50 megawatts of electricity. In the past years, no attention has been paid to the use of Takar's water capacity by the government, but now the Ministry of Energy has promised that with the improvement of the weather, it will start the survey work for the construction of an electric dam on the Kokche Sea. Takar residents do not have access to electricity, despite having abundant water resources, and mostly use solar electricity. Also, the residents of the districts beyond Kokche, Takar, stated that in the past, the project of constructing a power dam on the Kokche Sea was undertaken several times, but due to the neglect of the governments, it was left to the winds of oblivion. Despite the fact that billions of dollars have flowed into the country in the name of aid, Afghanistan still relies on the electricity of neighboring countries, such as Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, and Turkmenistan. Currently, due to the reduction of electricity in Uzbekistan, most of the provinces of the country are facing a shortage of electricity. In the past, a Kazakh company was supposed to invest about $1 billion and $200 million for the construction of Kokcha Dam in Takar province. Based on the given information, with the construction of this power plant, 450 megawatts of electricity will be produced on the Kokcha Sea. On the other hand, a number of economic experts Taking into account the current needs for electricity in the region and the government's efforts to attract private sector investments in this field, say that the government should provide for the attraction of funds in the sector of hydropower generation and construction of dams in the country. With the construction of a power plant on the Kokcha Sea, one-third of the country's need for electricity will be provided from this dam. With the construction of this dam, in addition to generating electricity, abundant water for agriculture, will be provided in the north and northeast of the country, 
Kokja River is one of the famous flowing rivers in the north of Afghanistan, which originates from the glaciers of Karan and Manjan districts of Badakhshan province. Its tributary waters, which have traveled a long distance and merged together, pass through the center of Bahark city and the beautiful city of Faizabad, and have made this city beautiful. Kokche River forms a large part of Panj River. The water of this river has not been used much, and only one canal with a length of approximately 10 kilometers, which is called Sangmer Canal, has been built. The possibility of preventing wastage on this river in Kajagar area and delivering water to the lands of Dasht Archi, Imam Sahib, Dasht Shir Mahi, and Ebadan Miralam through water supply networks which will turn a total of about 1 million hectares of arable dry land into irrigated agricultural land. Kokcha River is 360 kilometers long and its width reaches 150, 200 meters in some areas. The speed of this sea is very fast and it scrapes its surroundings every year. And this sea joins the AMU Sea in Kajagar region. Kokche River can help the people of these areas to live a better and more stable life. First, the construction of modern and optimal irrigation systems on this river can improve agricultural performance and increase the production of agricultural products. Also, the use of renewable energy technologies, such as solar or wind power plants, due to the intensity of light and wind in this area, can help provide electricity for people's daily needs and make energy transfer more independent. Also, the development of tourism-related businesses around the river can help create jobs and stimulate the region's economy. By using river resources intelligently, these measures can help people in these areas to experience a more sustainable life with improved facilities and a healthier environment. Effective and sustainable use of the Kokcha River in Afghanistan can have significant effects on the country's economy. First, the construction of power dams and irrigation systems on this river will help to generate electricity and increase the capacity of irrigation infrastructure, thereby increasing the production of agricultural products. This not only provides the internal needs of the people, but it can also play a role in the processing of products and the creation of local industries. Also, by building power plants, it accelerates the increase of employment and the improvement of Afghanistan's energy infrastructure and helps to reduce dependence on neighboring countries in the field of energy. From the point of view of tourism, improving the conditions around the river can attract tourists to these areas and provide new foreign currency income for the country. These measures will help Afghanistan's sustainable development and economic resilience. Thank you for watching.